Operation 400 Week 13 here. So as you can see, Tom's at 340.2, but he's still in a caloric deficit. And look how lean he looks right now. And uh, week 14, we're actually going back to a caloric surplus. So it's going to be real exciting to see what happens there. Regardless, uh, he's Tom's obviously getting much stronger. So today, I'm just going to cover mainly what he did the whole week. And I hope I can do it in the amount of time we have for the video. So uh, first session of the week, started off with Hatfield squats for 660 for two sets of five reps, followed by leg curls with two, 200 pounds, six sets of six. That was seated, uh, then G, then the glute ham raise, three sets of six, followed by wide stance leg presses with five second negative. He went 800 for 12, 10, eight, that's three sets. Then finish off with some side planks. That was the first session. Second session in the afternoon of day one was he did a sled drag for 30 meters. He's in Australia, you gotta use meters. So 960 pounds, but we still use pounds. <laughs> so 960 pounds, he did, um, for four sets, they, uh, short rest for 120 seconds between them. Next, he went to lateral lunges, 170 pounds for three sets of eight. Then he finished off with 45 degree back extensions using 70 pounds for three sets of 15. On to day two the, for the morning session, Tom did 150 pound dumbbells for 10 sets. Each set was eight reps, doing a five second negative. Next, he went on to dips using a five second negative with 110 pounds over his body weight, doing five sets of five. Then finally on to chain incline flies, he went 100 pounds for 12, for three sets of 12, but I let him do an AMRAP on the last set and he hit 15 there and nailed it. On to the PM session the same day. Tom hit, uh, went to start off with decline press, 365 for 10 reps, followed by an AMRAP set where he fit, hit 13. Next one on the straight arm, Pullovers. We'll do a video. This is very good for your pecs to, for protection, too. We'll do a video on it sometime. But only 35 pounds, three sets of 12, emphasizing the stretch. Next, he did the Deck of Pain, our famous push up workout from Jailhouse Strong. He did 380 reps total. And then he did isometric chest flexes as hard as possible for 10 seconds, do, doing that for 10 sets. On to day three, he does these very strict. And he go. He makes sure everything's about feel. We're trying to save his elbows, for um, and we're slowly acclimating to more direct arm work. So, um, but the primary driver of his growth at this point is compound movement. So all these again are in a very muscle intention style. Incline cable curls, 50 pounds, five sets of 15 reps, followed by decline rope tricep extensions, 150 pounds for 15 reps for five sets, followed by reversed curl um, with a fat bar with a five second negative, uh, five sets of 10 with a five second negative, I said that already, and then tricep dumbbell kickbacks, he holds a contraction hard for one second at the top, 40 pounds for eight for uh, five sets of eight reps, Followed off, finished off with some Miguel sit-ups for three sets of 12, he was off completely day four, just can do some active recovery stuff in his pool and things like that. Um, day five, um, he went um, 660 for three reps in the deadlift for one set, followed by farmer's walk, wearing straps. The point is for growth, not for grip. Growth, not grip. 350 pounds in each hand for 30 seconds straight. He did that for two sets, followed by high shrugs on the calf raise, holding each rep for three seconds at the top with 450 pounds, did three sets of 15 reps, followed by the stone walk for 20 yards, um, he did a 200 pound stone for uh, four sets very easily for him, or excuse me, a 242 pound, he didn't have a 200 pound stone. Later on that day, in the PM session, Tom hit head supported neutral grip rows. These are great for bench pressers, and um, you know, bench press specialists, a lot of them, like Jeremy Hornstra's drive this movement. 270 pounds for five, 275 pounds for five sets of five. Um, next, he wanted a snatch grip, Romanian deadlifts, 255 pounds for three sets of 15 reps, followed by Cobra lat pulldowns with 130 pounds, did three sets consisting of 12, 11, then nine reps, followed by wide grip pull-ups, body weight plus 25 pounds for eight sets of eight. That's a huge feat at 340 pounds, damn. Then he finished off with landmines. Um, it's a great anti-rotational exercise. Uh, three sets of six reps was for 45 pounds. And then day six a.m. session, Tom hit uh, standing neutral grip overhead presses 
with a with a neutral grip like football bar, the Swiss bar, whatever the hell he, which one he has, but it's a neutral grip, and it's uh, two hundred and thirty five pounds. He did it for um, five, or excuse me, six sets of five reps very easily. Went on to incline chest supported dumbbell rows, ninety pounds for ten for ten reps for six sets. Again, that's very light for him, but you know the frequent stimulation of the upper back it does dividends. And he finished off with body weight dips, 10 sets of set, 10, only resting one minute. It's like clockwork, child's play for him now. Day six, the PM session. He went reverse pec deck for the rear delts, 150 pounds for 10 sets of 15 reps. Then he fought, Then he did um, Sir Charles lateral raises, 12, 10, 9, 8 reps. We just did it with five pounds, getting used to the movement. We're starting to load them now. Band pull aparts, 10 sets of 10, resting 30 seconds. I love those for that scheme. And then finished off the day, 130 pound lat pull downs with a cable in each hand, so it's 130 each hand. 10 sets, 12 reps, followed by straight arm pull downs, 160 pounds for 12 reps for three sets, followed by standing one arm cable rows, 140 pounds for three sets of 12 reps, and finished off with the ab roller for um, for six reps for three sets. So um, Tom is definitely working hard. And um, as we go next, uh, caloric, uh, you know, downturn where we can, we know that we're not we're going below maintenance. We will do more strength based training. So um, because uh, that's a great way to, you know, periodizing frequency is also a great way to, um, you know, to make gains. So great work, Tom, and look forward to the caloric surplus.